Hello, my name is Mohammed, and I'm going to talk to you today about uh, the possible impact on the La uh, Seattle area and the event of Lahars caused by an eruption at Mount Rainier. I'm going to start by explaining what Lahars are and how they could impact the Seattle area and how, what we can do to prepare ourselves. So let's just get started. There's no doubt, doubt that uh, Mount Rainier is beautiful. However, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, Mount Rainier is one of the most dangerous volcanoes in United States. This is concerning when you consider it, it is approximately really close to Seattle area and Tacoma. The volcano last erupted about 1890s, but just because it's been really quiet uh, recently doesn't mean that it's not going to happen again. Geologists report that the explosion could produce ash, lava flows, and uh, avalanches of hot rock and gases, which are called pyroclastic flows. Here's a picture of the explosion from Mount St. Helens in 1980s, so you can get an idea of how uh, big this explosion can be. One of the first implications of eruption would be the rapid melting of snow that would send melt water down the mount mountain, uh, picking up loose rocks and debris on its way. These slurries uh, are called lahars, actually which could travel great distances and even reach the Puget, uh, Puget Sound and are very destructive uh, with past Lahars being reported to have traveled up to 50 miles an hour. Here are a few pictures of the damage, uh, damage that Lahars caused near Mount St. Helens in 1980s. As you can see, Lahars are extremely destructive and can completely reshape a landscape. There are two types of lahars. One is meltwater generated, which could be caused by Mount Rainier's gl glacial ice, and landslide generated, which can ca be caused by destabilization of volca volcano by magma. At Mount Rainier, lahars present a great risk than lava flows or other volcanic uh, occ uh, occurrences. This is because the lahars would directly travel through a uh, populated area and could destroy highways, um, dams, bridges, and that can be really catastrophic. Around 80,000 people live directly in Lahar Hazar zones. So imagine 80,000 people needing to evacuate the destroyed highway. This damage could also have a direct implication on the rest of the state because uh, hydroelectric dams and major supports are also lie in the Lahar Hazar zones and could be completely destroyed. What can a geologist do to predict this eruption? Volcanoes show unrest before an eruption. When, when it does erupt, uh, there will be days, months of uh, signs, including increased uh, earthquakes, uh, emission of volcanic gases, and swelling of the body of the volcano. When this unrest is detected, scientists will notify emergency uh, management officials and increase monitoring efforts. You may be wondering what you can do to protect yourself. In the case of a large eruption, there will be mass evacuation and hopefully you won't be anywhere near the mountain. But however, you need to know the signs of a debris flows and lahars as we discussed in this video. If you happen to be hiking in the valleys of the Mount Rainier, especially during intense rainfall, you need to be alert for the signs of approaching debris, ground shaking and roaring sounds. Moving to high ground off the valley floor and out of the path of the lahar is only way to ensure your personal safety. Uh, it is important to de determine if uh, where you live or work is in Lahar, zone, uh, Lahar La Hazard Zones. Here's a picture of where the Lahar Hazard Zones uh, of the Mount Rainier are. As you can see, Bellingham is fortunately out of the path of, path of the dangers for most of Lahar activities. However, it is still important to know where the hazard zones are so you can keep yourself safe. So, for now, it is important to educate yourself on natural disasters that can occur in your area and you should always have a plan. But we should still take time to enjoy this beautiful volcano before nature takes it away from us. Thank you so much for watching this video.